It's announced a lot at CES. Like, a lot, a lot. The biggest tech trade show hit Vegas last weekend and Acer hit harder. I don't know. Announcing the latest in AI laptops, all-in-one PCs, e-scooters, and gaming. So much gaming. Crazy idea. Let's go take a look. It's truly the era of AI and Acer have gone all in. So expect all the laptops you know and love to now have an AI variant. And what makes them AI is that they're Copilot Plus PCs as opposed to just Copilot. And these Copilot Plus PCs is a term given when there's even more Terra operations per second, which is all capable from the mighty powerful Ryzen 300 processors for even faster AI capabilities. This is gonna be really useful in creative work like all your Adobe apps, plus it comes with its own features like co-create and recall. And whether it's AI or not, all the Swift Go's now come with an OLED screen Yes. with a touchscreen display and an itsy bitsy weight. It's just so tiny. And the AI fairy has also blessed the Swift 14s and 16s should you need a little bit more power, as well as their whole gaming range. Predator, as usual, brought insane power with their new Helios laptops. Check out the video on our Predator UK channel for that. But we are also seeing a lot of love to the Acer Nitro line too. I fear it was only two years ago when we had one Acer Nitro laptop, the Nitro 5, and now we have about 10. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, there is something for everyone, uh, all different screen sizes with different price ranges and power too. And this is all to hearken in the new age of NVIDIA's 50 series with DLSS4. So if you didn't care about AI when I mentioned it previously, listen now because it's going to get interesting, I swear. <laughs> Not only are we going to see insane gaming performance in their Blackwell series with their entry level 5070 performing like a 4090, yet pricing... <laughs> very fairly, with the power draw being also half of the 4090. So, I mean, you do the math. It's very exciting. And that insane games performance would not be possible without AI, with AI-assisted ray tracing and DLSS4. But the star of the show still has to go to the gaming handhelds. And am I biased because I personally love gaming handhelds? Yes. But also no, because <laughs> Acer announced two new sizes to their Nitro Blaze line. The 8.8 inch model powered by a laptop CPU with a quad HD screen and Hall effect joysticks and triggers, which means no more joystick drift. And this size, you know, we've seen before. However, the next we have not with the absolutely insane 11 inch model, <laughs> which has all the same features as the 8.8 inch counterpart, but also with detachable controllers, a kickstand, and probably a vase amount too at that size. <laughs> For reference, I mean, I have nothing to compare it to. This tablet is 11.5 inches from corner to corner. So this new gaming handheld is only yay much smaller than this, which is insane. This is, this is massive. <laughs> and the gaming doesn't stop there. I told you there is a lot with the release of the Nitro Intel Arc graphics cards, the 570 and the 580 OC for budget friendly gaming. There's also a foldable mobile controller and finally, white gaming accessories. It's been a long time coming. Gaming aside, there was also updates to Acer's all-in-one range, the more affordable Aspire C and the more premium Aspire S, and these look so good. There was also connectivity devices with Wi-Fi routers, mobile hotspots, a Wi-Fi 7 dongle, and e-scooters to connect you geographically. <laughs> these are light, foldable, they have a range of 60 kilometers, with tubeless tires, front suspension, and they're incline friendly. And probably the strangest, if not the most impressive of the lot, the Eco Warrior laptop, the Vero, has now upped its sustainability using 70% post-consumer recycled plastic in its chassis alongside oysters. Specifically, it's bio-based, which I guess just means from organic materials, oyster shell that's included in its chassis. And Acer have committed to carbon neutrality for the lifetime on this laptop, which is not very shellfish of them. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on the latest releases down below. And if I didn't mention anything you are personally looking out for, don't worry because, you know, they probably released that too. Seriously, it was a lot. I handpicked about seven or eight new devices out of around 30. <laughs> I personally am most excited to see the new Swift with the OLED screens. I love OLED and of course the new monster gaming handhelds, but let me know your thoughts down below and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.